right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here, of course, for Haikyuu. Episode 23. 23. We're getting into Ooh. the third set of yeah. the match with Abba side. Oh my gosh, it's gonna oh. be it's gonna be crazy, guys. And yes. uh oh man, I I'm 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 so hyped for this show. But I really love when they make a single game, like a single game, go into this much yeah. depth and in the characters and the right. moments and of intensity and just oh, and the fact that they're doing it. it now because if they mm -hmm. had done it on the other games, like they could have tried to do something kind of like that with Deltico, mm -hmm. but but I'm glad they didn't. Right, and I'm really glad they didn't do it with the the first match, like mm -hmm. there. But the but because they yep. don't really do that. Yeah. Now it's like, okay, you want to go for six episodes or whatever it is on yeah. this one? Go for it. Plus ultra, basically. Yep, that's right. And that's hey, right. just a, just a little thing uh, for you guys that are in the comments and stuff. Uh, Haikyuu is one of those shows that right now is giving us that same kind of positive emotional feel-good thing that MHA did. But we were able to talk with you guys in the comments back then. But we're going to be having some of our mods feature awesome comments that are going to be seen in... Uh, you know, in a later sense. So if you want to have your comments be featured, like basically try and like add to the discussion in some way or just really give an awesome right. comment. And then we're gonna have our mods try and cherry pick some of the best ones out there. That way we can still interact with you guys. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, but yeah, we've got a third set underway. They won 25, 23 yep. in the second set. And now, uh, yeah, Hi uh, Kageyama is hitting things in stride. They mm -hmm. had the awesome bit of backstory with Oikawa. And, oh, yeah, and now it's and just Kageyama. A, a showdown. It's just a showdown now. And in a way, Oikawa is the hero of his own story. He oh, yeah. said he would oh, crush yeah. Yeah, each uh, of them Kageyama. is the hero of their own story. Yeah, yeah. but now we just see who is, uh, who is actually going to follow through on this. Yes, which team? Which, yeah. which, which team has the best six? Exactly. Yes, as it was me. Uh, yep. set. So without further ado, let's get into this uh, final set and see who the victor is. <laughs> final set. Mm -hmm. Final set. Oh, uh, the previous. Yeah. The previous matches. <sighs> then it's over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! It's just a feel-good show. It I, is. I, I love this. It is. I love it so much. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah! yeah! Whoa! Ah. The point that changes the momentum. That could go either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's already there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the scary thing. Good, the coach is gonna say something, but... Right. They understand, yeah. The guardian deity. Yeah. Whoa! Oikawa! Whoa! What? Oh my god! No way! Wow! Okay! Oh, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. No way! Oh. That's some serious knowledge of the rules. Uh -huh. Oh, that was the opening yep. animation right there. Yep. Oh, no way. Sending it back. No Whoa. way. He set a chance ball. Oh my god. Okay. じわじわと現れる。いや、ジーパーの力。ああ、シャッ。いや。ああ。さあ、パーセントの実力を出した時、チームとして強いのは正常なんでしょう。うん、ストロングセックス。それが70%に落ちたり、はたまた120%に跳
行動幅目いっぱいの攻撃ですかそうそれに最適な攻撃今回はまだほとんど使ってないはずだ Oh, what? Has Hinata learned how to curve his spikes? Warm up zone, frustration, or tameta. Hmm. That's the name of the episode. At one point, shift the momentum. Yeah, he's gonna curve it. Watch this. Woo! Yeah. They couldn't. They couldn't stop it. It was too fast. Yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh, they're catching up. Wow. People are gonna get tired, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Back yes. attack! Uh huh. Asahi! Yeah! Ima got Piper of Koro Aitato. Atama de Hawaka Tata. Nano. Ima. Oiko and Shinata Yoga Sonina. Oh. Toso. What they got to go to Tata. Tauri Yamas. Tanunda. Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi, Yamaguchi, yeah, yeah, Yamaguchi, yeah, 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 yeah. you're getting tired. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, they're focusing on him. Oh, sir. Oh, I know what that's like, buddy. What do you call it? What do you Mm -hmm. Oikawa's serves are coming, I can feel it. Yeah, once Hinata's on the back line. So they're just keeping someone on the back line that's. Oh! On Hinata. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. So use the Libero to be just ready for it. Sure. Yeah, this is huge. Oh. He got lucky. Oh, good. Good job, Nishinoya. But it, it went straight up. Oh crap. Oh, good job, Hinata. Whoa, I see oh. <laughs> Something that's not set up, but. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, 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 Yes, yes, you've been teaching him. You've been uh -huh. teaching him. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yes. Yes! He's switching out Hinata with Yamaguchi. Yes! 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 Yamaguchi, nice to see you. But you can't Right. Because otherwise Hinata would have had to serve. Yeah. Yamaguchi! Yeah. You can do it. Do it. Oh. Yeah, especially someone like Asuki. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> They're all men. <laughs> 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 
Yes. Yes. She's like, how much you want to bet that was Nishinoya's idea? I think it was Suki, uh, Suga, Suga Mom's idea. Looks too low. Because mm -hmm. there will be a next time. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, oh, I love this mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. yep. でも、今ここで悔しさと自分の無力さを知るチャンスがあることが絶対にあいつを強くする。イエス。イエス、イエス。ライト。おお、大事。ナイス。よし。キラスだ、キラスだ。いや。ナイス。よし。キラスだ、
I, I, I had to not. think about it logically, and I assume that this will be the end of the game. This next, this next episode, this next episode, yes. and then the episode after that will be, will the, be the recap, solving everything, kind of exactly, talk yeah. it out kind of thing. Right, but, with all the uh, character development between like Oiko and Kagiya uh-huh. will come to a full but, and. Tanaka got a got a got a kick save. Oh my like, gosh! Like they, everyone Tanaka was just in. Tanaka. Here's the thing about Tanaka. He's probably one of the most simple characters on Karasuno sure. with regards yes. to his depth and character. Oh yeah, but, but, but stuff. Love him. But it's the thing that he is one of the most passionate players Absolutely. on the court. Yep, yep. Like Hinata's passion is freak levels. Right. But Tanaka's is like this. Oh, right. You it's know. like like there's there's Hinata he gets, and like, Nishinoya. Angry, excited, exactly. You know? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. There's Hinata and Nishinoya, and they they have their own special kind of passion. Right. Then, or at least they're probably the most passionate. But Tanaka's passion is a special yes. kind of passion. Right. It's that more angry kind of passion. Right. right. Yeah. He's like, I can't let my team down. I uh, must this, do the best I can. This show I will do is everything. so good. This and, show is so good. And and. and and one of the things that I, I'm glad that we we kind of saw this coming was the fatigue of all these players right, coming exactly. in and yep. wearing not only their, their all, physical abilities but their but mental on their abilities. mental abilities. Yeah. So people yep. are making little mistakes mm-hmm. here and there. Yep. Yep. It's, little bad judgment calls and right. Being a but bit what, slower. And, but yeah. what that does is that allows us to have more of an internal dialogue, yep. like an internal right, look exactly. into these characters as they yes. react to their own mistakes or react right. to their team's little mistakes. Mm-hmm. And yep. even players like Kageyama who, you know, see a point essentially given away to Seijo by uh, Yamaguchi, mm-hmm. uh, you know, just don't mind, don't mind. Right, exactly. And, and uh, yeah. like if this were a fight, like, like, a, like a shonen fight or something right. like that, this would be the point where They've exhausted their powers and stuff like right. that, and it's devolved into just a slugfest, right? Right. Just, and, just pure uh, resolve, nothing mm-hmm. physical brought to the table in a special way. Like, every punch just, is, is straining them. and Right. It's just pure mm-hmm. emotion and willpower keeping yep. them and, here. And... The and I like so tangible I like, and real. I, I like that, you know, as someone who's played a lot of sports like this, when I've been either in Yamaguchi's situation where you get brought into pinch. Oh, yeah. Like, I played baseball at one point, and I was always pretty fast, but I sucked at batting. Like, I struck out stupid amounts of times to where I would never really be anywhere high in the lineup. But oftentimes, they'd get someone on, uh, you know, first base or something like that, and they'd be like, we need you to go and pinch run for them. And I'd be like, yeah, that's my one thing I can do for the mm-hmm. team. And you get on there and you run your you run your heart out. You steal bases. And I've had times where it's like I needed to like go from third base to home on a grounder hit to the shortstop. And I have to beat that run there. And I don't. And the team mm-hmm. loses or... Sure ends up not winning in that instance because that, that pressure's on you. But when you come back into the dugout and the team's like, don't mind, don't mind. Mm-hmm. Like, you get yeah. it next time, next time. Right. You yeah. just feel like, I yeah, love you guys. I want to succeed right. for you. And the, it's so emotional. It's yeah. like, oh, this is so good. The One of the things that I would say is the, uh, well, no, I, I, hands down, it's like one of the primary reasons why Haikyuu is such a great show mm-hmm. is that it's not just that it's about the sports. And, yep. and the characters are really an example of this but yes. it's that Haikyuu understands that it is very important to focus on emotion yep. that when the, that when that. there's emotion in the story yep. the audience feels that emotion they, unless, they they're take, psychopaths. unless they're psychopaths <laughs> they take on that emotion mm-hmm. right to some degree so yep. Haikyuu or Haikyuu just dials it up to 11 mm-hmm. and then of course we get it dialed up to 11 oh. so even if we don't care about volleyball <sighs> We yeah. care about these characters, right. and they care about it so mm-hmm. much yeah. that we care, and and oh. and that that goes into the specific emotions as well because you can go into the emotions sure. of having uh, all the pressure put on you and the feeling of also the players on the court have that that pride of wanting mm-hmm. to be on the court as much as possible. Yeah. I love that little exchange that Hinata and Yamaguchi had. Where he's where like, and not just like, back. I want him to go back, I want him to go back, yeah, 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 I want him to go back. Yeah. And Yamaguchi's like, whoa, he really wants uh-huh. to be on the court. And, and I hurt. feel the burden of yep. taking his position mm-hmm. for this one moment I have. And then yep. all the other players are realizing that their nervousness might affect Yamaguchi, right. so they're trying mm-hmm. to stay calm. Exactly. And I, uh, uh, that 
Mm. I loved the part where <sighs> he's he's not on the court yet. Yamaguchi's not on the court yet. Right. And then he goes and he takes a step on and he's like, whoa. <sighs> yeah, the temperature's different Yeah, yeah, over like here. this, I, I stepped into another world. The right. atmosphere here is tense and on fire. Yeah. <sighs> like, I... That those those kinds of things are why I want him to win the match so badly. Like because yeah. because it's yeah. not just about the fact that there's strong emotions in this show, mm -hmm. but there's varied emotions. There's strong positive emotions. There's strong right. negative emotions. Yeah. They have them all in there, and this storm of craziness <laughs> that just yeah. gets us swept along yeah. to the right. Because if it was all just hype, all just excitement, you know, yep. all one emotion dialed up to eleven. Then it would be it would be awesome, but it would not be this. It would not be this. No. So, oh, but you know what? I I am going to put a prediction out there that Yamaguchi will not be the winning point. That this is ultimately a game between Kageyama and Oikawa, and one of those two will make the winning point. Okay. Because they are. I the can ones, see that. Yeah. They are the ones that are in this moment having their character development. And, uh, and Haikyuu has always been about the characters. Sure. And so much so to the point where I almost, I almost, mm, I can't really say this honestly, but I almost don't care who wins or loses. Because we've gotten to this point in the story right now where I really desire for Karasuno to win. I yeah. really do. The main reason why I want Karasuno to win, though, is not because I want them to beat Seijo. Right. It's because I don't want to say goodbye to Suga and Asahi and, and Daichi. Daichi. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I really yep, don't. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Right. And I don't think they'll make us they'll don't I don't think they'll make us go through that yet. Look at me. I'm, I'm yeah, emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, just thinking but, about it. It's yeah. But it it ultimately has to come down to Kageyama and Oikawa. And Here's if that's mm -hmm. if if that's going to be what it is, I am I am I'm really excited for the next episodes, but I can tell there's going to be a lot of emotions here that won't necessarily be positive. I can almost like feel it coming because yeah. because Oikawa, in a way, I can tell that they're setting him up also for some character growth. Where regardless of how the match goes as well, he will be a slightly different person after this. Right, yeah, because whether win, win or lose, it's either going to be, you know, Karasuno's no, out of the match huge. or he goes on. And if he is done like yeah. this is the end of his journey yeah, exactly then yeah he's well, he's he's definitely going to develop quite a lot as a character and that's the thing is where there's a future involved with the 30 years that make mm -hmm. it through this exactly and whichever thing that they've years, established with ukai's buddies yes yeah. and it's what it's one of those things where um wait suga is a third year too mm -hmm. so yeah. that might have been his last thing as well Yep. I'm and really worried actually because of the foreshadowing bits. Karasuno doesn't have to win this match. I feel like they could. And yeah. I feel like I feel like they they have every I reason think, to I think they will. But I don't think they have to. And I have this I have this dread in me that's like I'm worried I have it too. Because this is the end of a mm -hmm. season. Yep, yep. Because this is coming. And three of them won't come back if they lose here. Uh, I, I get it. Um, Wait. So it's. Am I? Did I say someone? Did I say someone's name twice? Hold yeah, on. Suga. Asahi, Suga, and Daichi. Daichi. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm so out of it emotionally yeah, oh, right yeah. now that I'm, I can I'm tell. Just, I'm I just, can tell. Now, okay. 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 Nishinoi is a second year. Nishinoi is a second say, year. Tanaka's Tanaka is a second, second year. year. Um, okay. Yamaguchi okay. And their second year, or Yamaguchi's <sighs> the first year. All right. Yeah. I think I think I'm okay. Um, but but okay. <sighs> so. So I, I get what you what you were saying, the whole thing of uh, Kageyama versus Oikawa. Yeah. But here's the reason why I think they might not do that, is the idea that the foundation of the game is built on... The six players. The, the six players, and, and while a lot of it is Kageyama versus Oikawa, because yeah. the development is the whole idea that it's about the six players, not that any one player... Right. It's not even just about the six players. It's about That's the six true. players and the people on the bench. It's, it's the people, you know, the yeah. whole team, right? Not yeah. just the people that are on the court. And that's why... They they might not do the whole thing of having Yamaguchi get the winning point because that's I kind get of a, that it doesn't. It's not the thing that makes the most sense. It's also kind of a little bit cliche. It's a little bit David and Goliathy, you know. It's kind of the. I was gonna say more like Rudy, but okay, yeah. Uh, Rudy, yes, is another great example. Thank you, thank you. That's 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 um, a little bit better. Yeah, but, but my my yeah. thing is that it. Yamaguchi is a tertiary character. Right. And yeah. I don't think this is going to be a... I know, I know. 
this is but going, they, they this is going to be a hype characters. finale. Yes. And an emotional one. Yeah. But I I don't think I don't think see, here's the reason why. What if Suga did it? Here's the reason why. Okay. Because whoever decides the winning point, I have to imagine them being also potentially in the position to lose the point. And the reason why I don't think if Yamaguchi is the one that does the deciding point, whether he causes the, another point mm -hmm. loss for the team or a gain, I think if he got the point for Carcino to win the game, it would negate a little bit of the, the oomph of what they said here in this episode with him oh, being changed. the next one. Because and... I think for him okay, it, sure. it could potentially be about... Um, where things go in future games, like in a future different sure. setting. And okay. if he loses the point again, that's just heartbreaking. Right, yeah, okay. That's so it's just heartbreaking. Yeah, so it's the, the idea that it's a bit of plot armor almost, where if he ends up going on to do his his set or whatever, yeah. then, then he has to Then he has to make it. And then it's not really... It breaks a lot of the tension. But sure. if it puts okay. it, But if it puts it in someone's hands like Kageyama... If he wins it or loses it, it means it makes huge things for his yes, character. Right. So yep. whoever now, decides the final point, it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge for their character, right? It, especially their yeah. character, right? Yeah. And then of course, whoever on the other team doesn't make it, doesn't make it exactly. Right. Yep. Um, yep. 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 Oh. Well, and Oiko will probably. Regardless, if Oikawa's team loses, he will probably, you know, take most of like he'll blame himself for that. N no, I think that's where I think that's where something could change in his character. Really? I think his character would look at this and go, "You guys, we did our absolute we best. We did our absolute best and they pulled off some freak moves that, you know, we couldn't, you know, th those they are just, outlasted us or, or whatever." Or, or basically, you know, we we it was a pleasure serving with you. Like, one gotcha. of those things where Oikawa... I salute. <laughs> well, more like Oikawa and Iwazumi. I don't know if Iwazumi is a third year as well. I think he is. I think but he is, yeah. it would be more of a thing of the two of them basically just having a kind of a heart-to-heart -heart with the mm -hmm. team. And that's why I think that um, it, it's really tough to see actually who's going to win. I think I think uh, Haikyuu has moved it into such a position where we were predicting almost everything... Karsuna's gonna win. Okay, I like, I want a slap bet. Okay, I want a slap bet. Uh, Abo Jasai wins. All right, Karasuno wins. I I really want Karasuno to win, guys. Yeah, um, but but okay. I feel like I feel like this is. This I is, hope I win this slap bet, not just because of Karasuno uh, winning, but that would be the first time. And but uh, I I feel like this is also a good moment to do a slap bet. Sure, because yeah, it's it's yeah. really a coin toss. And also, if you if you deserve to win a, a slap bet of our, I almost feel like you might be throwing me one on the slap bet a bit easily. Maybe, maybe, but, but no, I I, I think it. that this is this is a really big moment for the show because the show going either way means huge huge things for the way they choose to take this. I think if if Karasuno wins, that means that this show is building up something beyond just the characters. And I think that if Karasuno loses, they will go back to what they uh yeah. they, what they what they're truly right. what they yeah. truly the only thing they have on is that but, is the characters. But Daichi and Asahi and I know. Suga can't leave yet. I know. And I they think cannot. I think that if <sighs> I think that if if you're right It'll be the perfect thing for you to slap me and say like, "Oh yeah, shame on you shame for, on you for doubting that." Doubting yeah. Okay, you know. this is something uh, though. If you're right, yeah. All right, because this was episode twenty-three. There's I'll two slap more. the tears off. There's of two more. Well, sure. <laughs> There's two more episodes left in While the I'm show. Crying. <laughs> so, no, in the they, season in, or in, in, the, the, in the season, season in the season. Very, very good. good yeah, yeah. Very big but, difference. But here. in the season, that means they could have the episode. If they did lose, they could lose, and then the episode after that. Where it's basically them kind of being like, it's not going to be the same without you guys next year and all that <sighs> stuff. To draw out and really twist the knife in our hearts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that I think that one of the things that might have foreshadowed this a little bit more, which is helping me like come to grips with the idea of, of Karasuna losing, was Yamaguchi's serve. And that oh. was the point that literally would have won them the game if they didn't fail that there because they're tied 24-24 well no it wouldn't have no no it wouldn't no. have 
It um, wouldn't have, sorry. Because yeah. you have to win by two. But right. but what that did for me was realize that Karasuno can make mistakes as a team, like by by that thing there, because mm-hmm. it had a positive to it. Even the things where Karasuno doesn't doesn't do the best that they can, mm-hmm. it can still shift the perspective and the attitude of the players right, exactly. towards something positive. And the the uh, Yamaguchi's uh, float serve that wasn't a that wasn't a game point. It was not a game point. Yeah, no. Uh, right. That was that was what put Obuchisai to twenty. Uh, right, and then they yeah. had seventeen at the time. Right, exactly. Yes. So yeah, so it was a psychological thing. It was but a psychological yeah. um, thing. Oh. <sighs> This episode is intense. This is really intense. Um, it's really crazy because my, my emotions are so all over the place. I'm having trouble actually thinking of things to discuss. Yeah, but, I, but particularly, I really liked that uh, Seijo or Abu Jisai came together as a team and did things yeah. that we've never really seen before. Yeah, that was great. It was Because it, one of the things that I was a little bit worried about, and, and in general, even before this game started, is that if you have a really long, drawn-out fight like this, how do you make it still it feel a, I love fresh. how you call it a fight. Oh, because it is. It is. It's, it's just like, like you, you I, I would say this is the difference between the sports person and the not really sports person, because he's right. It is a fight. It is a fight. Oh, yeah. But I don't, I don't need to call it that. Like, it's a game. Like, this is a match. Like, sure. When, yeah. Like, there's that, I, you I think this is I a know. game. Like, like, you, you, like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, go go ahead, go ahead. You're talking um, about how things could get repetitive, right? right? And they and they didn't do that. They pulled no, out a bunch of things really didn't. that that we hadn't seen before. Yep. They explained them in really concise, easy to understand ways, <laughs> using the characters in the stands. Well, yeah, <laughs> you know, do yeah. the typical thing there. Yeah, but is, they but, but it was but it was so concise, it just worked because mm-hmm. we wouldn't have been able to understand how awesome that you know dive set for a back spike well, was. Well, it was it was fantastic enough in that their libero set the ball right. for their setter, multi-classing then, for the win. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it's one of those things where it shows the power of a team's best six coming into mm-hmm. play with synergy. Right, and and one of the other reasons why I love the fact the that they did synergy. that yeah. was because that guy hadn't really been developed as a character yet. So far, for Abba Desai, it seemed more like, okay, there's the two main characters mm-hmm. and then the other four faces that are on the team. Right, Maki, right? Maki was their spiker who uh, was kind of... I would say opposite Iwazumi, and we did kind of get a little bit of him being one of their dangerous points. Sure, the, the guy that gets all the points for right. them, but through Carson's defense. But this was this was a great way to basically make Albuquerque's team seem bigger. But but remember, there was also Turnip Head, uh, who was on Kageyama's old team as yes. well. Yes. Uh, yes. So so there are there are there are multiple players. Mm. Out That's there. right. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. easy to forget them because we have so many awesome characters in Karasuno. Right. Exactly. But, yeah. But no, I, I think that I think that that's another potential a potential bit to show that uh, Abu Jisai has has the chops to take this. Right. The chops as a team, not just as mm-hmm. a we have Oikoa. You know. Yeah. Um, and we we have another pair to counter the nine and ten deadly combo exactly. on Karasuno's right. side. Right. Um, I, I love that they brought in fatigue really hard into yes. this by having them all sweating mm-hmm. and panting. Yep. Uh, Haikyuu has done a really good job of showing the characters sweating, but as a person, kind of TMI, but as a person who, when I get into sports, I sweat ridiculously, mm-hmm. like a lot. It's it's kind of relatable seeing uh, people like actually being drenched in sweat like this and sure. getting a towel out and literally right. like putting it over their head or yeah. around their neck and over the shoulders here to absorb all that stuff because it's well, yeah it's crazy and also just the idea of showing them like actually getting run ragged and stuff because that helps basically sell the idea that no obviously is a powerhouse and mm-hmm. rightly so yeah. you know the, the fact that this is such a struggle because it is a real struggle yeah. is not without reason yeah, and that will make when Karasuno wins. Mm-hmm. Well, either way, either will, way, either way, that will either make the way. outcome oh. have so much more weight to it because yeah. it will either be we struggled so hard and we came together and yeah. we did it. We all worked together and it was fantastic and we won, or we struggled, we tried so hard. We became a team. We became over a the team yeah. over the season. Next one, and next one, it just wasn't quite enough, you know. Oi Kai! Yeah. Or is yeah. that Moikai? Moikai. Moikai! Yeah. One more! 
I love it. Yeah. Anytime any of the characters are shouting one mm -hmm. more, yep. uh, it gets me a little bit emotional. Oh, yeah. because, Especially when it's Asahi. Well, yeah. yes, yes, well said. But I just want to let you guys know something. There's a, there's a feeling you get when you want to be on the field more than anyone else. And sure. no one else wants to be on the field more than you. And that's not and a even fun... if you all... Oh, 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 no, gotcha. No, no, no. Okay. What I'm saying is the opposite of this, is where let's say Hinata was the one constantly, like, with all that passion mm -hmm. and exuberance. Like he was before he joined Karasuno. Yeah, exactly. On his previous team, you feel the burden to kind of pull your team up with that energy and that mm -hmm. zeal. But I am almost jealous of Karasuno as a team in fiction because I want to yep. be on a team like that. Where you step into the bounds of the field and suddenly you you feel the you feel the energy you of, feel the yeah. energy of all these mm -hmm. players that want yep. to be there. Yep. And yet they accept you. Right. And, and that's not just a sports thing. That can be for anything. That's not a sports like, thing, but Jacob for sports it's it's special in sports. Sure. You, you you won't find it is the same way in anything else. Right, because like say for like say book writing, then it's then it's something that's mental, <laughs> no, it's, not physical. It's almost it, it's almost non existent in book writing. Oh. But I, I would say I would say on the level of sports. Sure. It's not a, it's not actual adrenaline pumping pumping through your veins for the most part. Yeah, yeah, well the thing is when your body gets pushed to that max and your mind is mm -hmm. actually weary from the decision making you're doing on the fly and then everyone else has that but then you all look at each other and that that synergistic connective energy mm -hmm. tissue just yeah. kind of you all just pull tighter together and then you start making things happen right and those connections happen and i'm all about connections so when i see this kind of stuff going on in the last few points as they crawl back from that three oh, yeah. point deficiency oh it just mm, it's really good oh, i love it so much it yeah. it's um yeah I, i'm really glad haikyuu is not over after this season let's oh, just yeah. say that oh yeah huh. <laughs> Oh man, that guys! Be, oh. Oh. Anything oh. else to say? Um, I really, really, really want to watch the next episode. Okay, guys. Well, if you want to watch the next episode right now, go check out the link in the description for our Patreon and get our early access. That's Comes right. with Discord access. You can chat with us about whatever, feel the feels, and voice chat. That's and right. yeah, we'll see you there. But until then, we're semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.